I'm not a makeup guru, just so you know. I just don't have time nor care that much. Um, I will pack this on my brush and use it later. Like, mama plays no games. It's a pimple coming in, great, love it. Love that for me. Lip balm or lip gloss. Ooh. Calm down, girlfriend, calm down. My, now that I think about it, my eyebrows are a little weird shaped, aren't they? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a, let me put down this mug real quick. I mean, who do I think I am? Pretty cute though, right? I mean, for the video and everything, wake up and make up. Yes. Okay. Anyways, today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my everyday makeup routine. I have been getting some requests to do this. And honestly, I put this off way too long. Like I should have done this a long time ago. I said I was going to do this a long time ago. It's just YouTube is a lot of work. I'm not going to get into it. But anyways, I'm coming at you today to share with you guys my everyday makeup routine. So I'm going to quit rambling and let's get started. So I already did my hair. Let me know, do you guys do your hair or makeup first? I used to, let's get this right side up. I used to do my um, makeup first before my hair, but no, like girl does your hair first. Anyways, I've already like washed my face. I did not put on moisturizer yet. I've been recently using, okay, I just can't be bothered. Um, the focusing is really driving me crazy and only wants to focus on my face or nails. Recently for moisturizer, there you go, kind of. Um, I've been using Drunk Elephant, the cream peptide, polypeptide. I love this stuff. Now, your girl did not pay for this. And I've told you guys before that I would once I run out of thing, but I got this as a birthday gift from them. So I'm just kind of set right now. Um, but this stuff is really, really nice and does, oh, my skin just loves it and drinks it up. And just for clarification, I have normal to dry skin, but more on the, um, dry skin. Sometimes I can get oily depending on how the weather is and, like, what kind of foundation I'm wearing, but yeah. Okay, so, um, moisturizer, blah, blah, moisturizer is on. Um, the primer that I have been loving, actually let's start with eyes first because that's <laughs> what I do. Okay, I start with eyes first and I don't see the point in buying eye primer because you can use um, um, concealer. The concealer that I love for eye primer is the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I'm literally scraping the tube if you can see that. Um, but I refuse to buy another one until it's all gone. What mirror am I going to use? I do have a big mirror behind me, but... Hmm. See all my brushes? It's my brush holder. I got this from TJ Maxx. Freaking love it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to use this, I guess. It's kind of dirty, but what can you do? So I just dab a little bit on each eye. Am I close enough for you guys? And rub it out. And if you're wanting to know the shade that I'm in, sand. And then to oops, the lighting, you guys. Do I need to open up my blinds more? Oh, there we go. To set that, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I love this stuff, you guys. You do not need an expensive setting powder. Just letting you know, I'm taking the Kat Von D um, contour brush. Just going to pat that over. I take a tiny bit, pat that on. Okay, and then simple eye look, nothing super crazy. If you guys could see my desk, or not desk, dresser. It's a freaking hot mess. There's products everywhere. I'm not in my normal setup. I usually get ready in the bathroom. So, I'm using the, oh, the brand. It's like Almar, I think, is the brand. Um, my mom gave it to me. It came in her boxy charm. So, the palette I'm going to use today. Um, and this switches out. I don't have like an everyday palette that I stick to. But um, I'm going to use the Man Eater palette. These are the colors. Very beautiful. I've shared this palette before. So pretty. Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna take Purr, which is this middle shade here, focus on the palette, and tap that. And then I have hooded eyes. I'm sure you guys have noticed that. Um, I feel like I need to get closer to you guys. Where's that red dot? It's a pimple coming in, great, love it. Love that for me. Okay, and I just take it a little bit above the crease. Whoops, I forgot to, I'm already failing at this. Usually I take a color and kind of pat that all over, which I do this passion, and I'll do that here to kind of just give an even base and an even color. And I'll do that over this too, because it won't matter. This brush I love, couldn't tell you the name of it. It's like slanted, I love it. Um, but I got it from Burlington, so I couldn't tell you like the brand or anything. Or not Burlington, I got it from TJ Maxx. So I'm gonna put that a little bit above my crease. And I use windshield wiper motions and circular motions. Well, usually I just go for like a bronzer in the crease type moment. Um, something Everless, but something that also defines the crease as well. Um, I still have mascara residue and I just washed my face. Hmm. I kind of want to be like, hey, how are you guys doing? What's new? But like, this isn't a chick chat, get ready with me. But if you want to let me know what's going on, t life has been super hectic. Um, but I explained that in my chick chat, get ready with me. So yeah, just doing a little bit of that. And then the next color I'm going to put into my crease is the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer that I love and adore. Smells like chocolate. I'm sure you guys. I've heard I use the medium deep and I love putting this in my crease especially on days I need to run out the door but still want a little something so I put that a little bit above that um, yeah. eyes are done like that's all I'm doing for eyes I'm not doing anything else this is just an everyday thing so let's move on to primer right now i've been loving the flower beauty hydrating primer i actually was gonna return this to ulta but i kept using it like two more days and like i was like mm, i actually really like this um very hydrating holds makeup well um oops, i need a little bit more um but yeah you can find it at um Ulta really good I really like it it's a little bit on the pricier side when it comes to drugstore but um you know I just realized that my ears aren't in the frame that's okay next foundation okay I actually mix now my two favorite foundations. I love them apart, but I love them together. So, um, I've mentioned this on my Instagram. Come on, focus. You're really not going to focus? There we go. Um, so this is the foundation I've been using. It's the Maybelline um, Dream Satin Liquid. I love this stuff. Come on. Focusing is going to drive me crazy. So I've been mixing this and the Makeup Revolution Liquid Foundation. I've raved about these a bunch, especially on my Instagram. I love how easy the applicator is. If you don't focus on my face. Focus. Um, so I just kind of swipe a little bit of that. Oops, that was probably really too much. And then I pump a little bit of this on the back of my hand 
maybe that much that might even be too much and I use a real technique sponge Pop. get on my ears my ears can be red um, maybe I should use a mirror and I just kind of go all over. I love these foundations. These are heavenly. Together, apart, it doesn't matter. Ooh, just grazed my eyeball. Great. Ow, oh, that kind of... Um, but they look so... I get compliments on my foundation. This is what I use. I love it. I love it. And the reason why I love these together is because this is like a satin liquid, okay? And this is more of a, it's not matte, but it's more matte. So them together, they just work so well together. If you want to know the shades and um, Makeup Revolution, I'm F10. And the Maybelline, I'm 70 Pure Beige. Now that foundation is blended, it's time for concealer. Now, I start out with a little bit of Maybelline Fit Me, just a little because I love it so much. Um, my concealer routine is a little excessive, but you guys, this is just what I do. It's what I love. Um, but I love how it kind of brightens a little. See that if I touch my eye one more time I love that and then I take Tarte Shape Tape the one concealer I think that is worth the price point I love it um I, I do and it's up to you but I get a light shade I have light sand and light medium I use both I put a, sorry if I'm looking up but I'm looking in the viewfinder um, I put a, whoops, a dot of the light there. And I don't use a lot because it can be heavy. And then I put a dot here, dot here, dot here, dot here. The darker, whoops, down my nose. I never get that straight. And then on my chin. Whoops. I don't know what's wrong with the, see the ends of that? Like, see that? I don't know why it does that, but it, it makes a mess. I've never had an issue otherwise. Whoa, that was way too much, but that's okay. And then the forehead, on the nose, and then I do my eyes last for some reason. Pat that in. I just love this foundation. I love it so much. Okay, and then one of my favorite parts, baking. I am still obsessed and recommend on my life that this setting powder is amazing. I freaking love it. Love the smell. I love the way. It, oh no. I, oh my god. Ah, that's not cool because I want to use every freaking penny and I'm going to like. I will pack this on my brush and use it later. Like, mama plays no games. Okay, so I'm going to take my little Sony Cash sponge, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Pat that there. Pat that there. And again, I'm looking in the viewfinder, so I know that can be annoying. But what is your girl to do? Now, I don't leave this on very long because on me with my dry skin it tends to look cakey so i literally wipe it off like pretty much immediately and there's some on my desk so i'm picking that up i'm gonna do it all on my face i'm not wasting this the stuff's too good to be wasted okay so i cannot believe i did that i've never done that before uh, like I'm scooping every 
that doesn't let you know how good it is and I don't know what will. Focus. Thank you. After I do that, I take my Maybelline Fit Me powder, which I am almost out of. Like, I'm scraping the sides. So, I'm going to take this brush, which I don't even know. I think this came from TJ Maxx as well. And I kind of just pat it on. Oh, and this is in the shade... Um, rich tan and I just use this to kind of set my foundation <laughs> I bring it on my neck but I do this because I don't know my skin tone can be a little hard to match because I'm half black half white I'm that olive ivory in between like it's weird my skin's weird so I just do this to kind of give me the color I'm looking for so I just do a little bit, nothing. Obviously, I can only do a little bit. Like, I have a little bit left. Um, so, eyebrows. This is my favorite eyebrow pencil of all time. I've tried a bunch of them. ColourPop's a pretty good one, but um, this one's my favorite. Maybelline Brow Precise a Micro Crayon. I love the little brush on here. And I have the color... What color do I have? It doesn't say the color I have, but I think I have Deep Brown. Anyway, so what I do is I literally just trace my brow. I'm not the best at brows, you guys. I honestly don't care that much. I don't understand how the girls get brows on fleek. I don't understand how my sister does it. It's insane because I've tried and it never comes out the way I'm expecting it to. Ooh, my brow is looking a little crazy. Then I go back in and comb it. Now, also, I just do... My, now that I think about it, my eyebrows are a little weird shaped, aren't they? I need to go do something about that. <gasps> no! Okay, now I really need to go get an eyebrow pencil because I just smushed everything that I have. Had left. Great. Great. Have to get that today. Have to get that today. And then... I go over it with the Gimme Brow. Um, the minis are just fine, I think. But I really honestly, like I'm not gonna lie, like I really like the Gimme Brow. Love that. So eyebrows are done, you guys. Like, I'm not a makeup guru, just so you know. Now bronzer. I love bronzer. So I'm a little excessive when it comes to bronzer as well, you guys. So, the first bronzer I start with is the Physician's Formula um, Healthy Wear SPF Bronzer, SPF of 50 bronzer. I'm almost done with this too, kind of. I have, it's got some life left, but um, I have this in my makeup collection for forever. And then one day I was out of something I used and the colors were similar and I fell in love. So, I just kind of give this to get some color. I put this just on my cheeks just to kind of I treat bronzer the way I do eyeshadow so it's like a gradual build right so I use a light color and then build up from there so it's not so harsh okay that's all I use for that then I go in with my Too Faced bronzer I freaking love this bronzer and my favorite bronzer brush that has stole my heart this is the Real Techniques um, brush it was on sale at TJ Maxx so yeah and then I just go in I don't know if I mentioned but yeah this makeup look takes me not even 15 minutes um, but because I'm talking to you guys then the next bronzer I go in is from the Becca and Chloe palette. I freaking love this bronzer and this kind of gives me a like a luminous glow so I put that over that. The colors aren't too different. Whoops. Last but not least, I know you guys it's a lot. It's a lot. It can be a lot but I recently got this bronzer. I still have the packaging. I, I don't know why but are you guys the same? I keep packaging for a while and then throw it out when I feel they need, I don't know why I do it, but this Cover FX bronzer, I freaking love, love it. So, um, I give this, 
put that over a little bit and then I use this side as well so not too much just oh I forgot to put bronzer on my nose this whole time great I put bronzer on my nose too so I'll just do a little bit and the rest contour now next step is contour um where did my cat oh there it goes I'm using the Kat Von D contour palette I mean you guys like say what you want about her but she killed it with this right and I used a lot of the shades I even used this deep one for eyeshadow so I'm gonna pat into these two and all I do is my hairline and then I go down my nose I don't contour my nose I just think you either like my nose or you don't my look. so I feel like my look is looking a little crazy but I promise you it's not okay and then I take a little brush another I got from TJ Maxx and take the middle color and go underneath my lip for some definition and then I take these colors any of them honestly for brightening I put it here see how much that brightens I'm dipping in all three by the way underneath the eye like I love this stuff my forehead and then I wipe that away pretty quickly because now time for blush I don't know what blush I want to use I feel like I've been using a lot of high-end stuff and I apologize about that um, so yeah I think I'm gonna use this um, essence satin blush oh come on I've talked about this before and my favorites it's in the shade satin love I love this shade and I'm just gonna take a stippling brush that I have no idea where it's from. I'm sorry, I can't be more of a help, but I'm just gonna love this color. It's a really pretty, just you know. And then I love. I've been loving taking blush and putting it on my nose to give me that sun-kissed look. Okay. And then, oh, I'm a little excessive with mascara. I don't know why, um, but. I don't know why um, I just do I don't wear lashes I don't have time nor the patience to learn I've tried it and one day I will dedicate a day but I just can't be bothered better than sex mascara I'm almost running out but you don't need the full size honestly I think the minis are better I'm almost out of this honestly but I start off with this I hope I'm in brain. And then the next mascara I go in with is this um, Bad Girl Lash by, I think it's, yeah, Benefit. If you get a dot on your face like I did, um, leave it alone and clean it with a Q-tip later. So that's what they're looking like so far and yes I'm not done I think I'm gonna go in with this one it's the essence essence mascaras are so good it's the volume the curl and hold packaging I can't even I'm sorry but I don't have the patience to try and get this to focus because it's just too much I've been sitting there to get that foundation to focus I was sitting here for like two minutes if not longer. Ah, I got another dot on me. And I'm gonna stop there, but if I was going out <laughs> or something, I would use like the A Cosmetics Superhero, the Lancome one's really good. Um, I love mascara. I just kind of piled on. That's what it's looking like right now. And then, 
highlight one of my favorite parts i've been loving this highlighting brush which it came with that one that i showed you like this um i got it from burlington and it came with this eye brush and this one it came in a pack of four but yeah i've been loving this for highlight um so what highlighter am i gonna use today ow Ugh, this stool is kind of uncomfortable. Okay, so hmm, I feel like I should use drugstore because I feel like I've been using mostly high end and that's not really fair. So let's see. Okay, now that I'm looking, I don't really have, I do have one highlighter highlighter that's drugstore but i usually use this as a topper but let's see hmm i'll use this as a topper because yeah um so i'm gonna use the chloe palette their highlighter is everything down the bridge of my nose This is a topper. The ColourPop and Flexitarian. Actually. You see that? Looks so pretty. And I'll use that Flexitarian in my inner corner. I'm going to use a flat, little flat elf brush. I love Flexitarian, so good, it's so cheap. Um, ColourPop, you can find it at Ulta, that's how I have got it. And then my below the brow bone. And I usually like wipe that to not make it so harsh. And then what I've been liking to do lately is take some highlight, if I'm wearing just bronzer, and kind of put it in the center. I should have done that before mascara, but just kind of a glow, you know what I'm saying? And then if I feel like I don't have enough, well, I usually add that once I wipe my lip makeup off. So that is it. The only thing I would be putting on is maybe a lip balm or a lip gloss. Ooh, calm down, girlfriend. Calm down. Using Morphe. You guys, I'm actually running low. This is almost out. I'm running low on a lot of my go-tos. I need to go to Ulta. And honestly, see that highlight? Ooh, yes. Boo. So, that is my go-to makeup look. Actually, let me... Yeah, not a cute look. Let me... Um... And then I go around my jaw. You only need... A little bit and then I go around okay so I just wet a q-tip and this is how I take my lip product off because it's easier than a makeup wipe and I don't want to waste a makeup wipe just for my lips I usually take some more highlighter because that rubbed off using the Chloe again And then the lip that I've been wearing every day, I've been loving it. It's Smashbox. My mom gave this to me. Thank you, mom. Um, Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in the color Latte Matte. Beautiful color. Love it. Don't use any um, lip liner. I just don't have time nor care that much. Um,
that is it you guys that is my everyday makeup look a few things can change here and there like my blush and lip color highlight things like that um i do switch up quite a bit for but for the most part everything is pretty much the same um sorry this was a little bit kind of boring in my opinion i, I love chit chat get ready with me's um or like a full face of this or a full face of that um so if you guys want to see that again please comment down below and let me know if you guys enjoyed this please give it a big thumbs up um but yeah thank you guys so much for hanging out and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>